Hello everyone, this is Jeremy Lovett with your weekly video message. This week I want to give you a little bit of heads up on what's going to happen for our self-employed borrowers now that we're into 2014. Most of the time when we're doing a self-employed borrower's loan, we're going to look at their tax returns to do their income calculation. The reason we're doing this is we're looking at their gross income, all their write-offs, their net income, and kind of doing a calculation on exactly how much of that income we can use. The issue we're running into, or that we will run into as we go into 2014, is that if we're going to try to use the self-employed individual's 2013 income, the only way we can do that is by having a validated set of 2013 taxes. That means people are going to have to file their taxes nice and early, and we're going to have to wait for the IRS to validate those taxes before we can actually use it in the loan scenario. This sounds nice and simple, and in practice it is relatively easy. The problem we tend to run into is that the IRS gets backlogged in a hurry. So if you're working with a self-employed buyer, they're out there looking at properties and they're thinking about using their 2013 income to qualify, make sure that they're talking to their tax people to get their taxes done, and make sure that they're talking to their lender to get a timeline on when they believe those taxes will be validated. Until the taxes are actually validated, we're not going to be able to count the income and it will delay the deal. So make sure you're reaching out to parties. There's ways to rush things along. So give me a call at 480-744-6040 if you have absolutely any questions. Thanks.